Hello, and welcome back to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. Today, I am going to pick Razor Ramon against Dean Ambrose in wonderful episode. War and Incent. Mary's County, Maryland, Razor Ramon began his career in 1984. He rose to prominence after signing with the WWF in May 1992, assuming the name Razor Ramon. While within the company, he won the WWF Intercontinental Championship four times. He departed the company in May 1996 and subsequently signed with rival promotion WCW, where he became a founding member of the New World Order NWO faction, along with Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. In the company, he became a two-time WCW United States Heavyweight Champion, a one-a-time WCW World Television Champion, and a seven-a-time WCW World <laughs> Tag Team tonight. Champion. He left WCW in February 2000, returning to the WWF leader renamed WWE for a brief stint in 2002. He spent the rest of his career wrestling for various promotions, such as Extreme Championship Wrestling Dequa, New Japan Pro Wrestling NJPWA, and Total Nonstop Action Wrestling TNA, where he held the TNA oh World Tag goodness. Team Championship once with Kevin Nash and Eric Young. He wrestled his final match in June 2016. Oh no, Although he never won a world championship in a major promotion, Paul held the WWC Universal Heavyweight yeah, Championship yeah, once for the Puerto Rico-based promotion World Wrestling yeah, Council. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as a singles competitor in 2014 and as a member of the NWO in 2020. Paul struggled with alcoholism and substance abuse for much of his career and later life and died in March 2022 at the age of 63. Paul began his career in 1984 in the National Wrestling Alliance's NWA Florida Territory Championship Wrestling from Florida CWF and soon began a feud with Dusty Rhodes. Ten he and Dan Spivey trained together in Florida mainly under Rhodes but also under Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. When it was time for the two to debut as a tag team, Rhodes sent them to work in Jim Crockett's Charlotte, North Carolina-based territory. They debuted as American Starship, Hall under the ring name Starship Coyote and Spivey under the ring name Starship Eagle. At first, American Starship were booked to wrestle infrequently, so much so that the two were given ground crew jobs for the Charlotte Orioles which Jim Crockett owned at the time. When they did get in the ring, it was with little success. The highlight of their stay in Crockett's Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling was a losing challenge to Arn and Ole Anderson for the NWA National Tag Team Championship. After leaving Crockett, the duo joined Bob Jagel's NWA Central States Territory based in Kansas City in 1985. They received a shot at NWA Central States Tag Team Champions Marty Janity and Bulldog Bob Brown, but lost the match. Dan Spivey's stay in the Central States Territory was brief. He returned to the Carolinas and Crockett, jobbing in the freshly rebranded Jim Crockett promotions as American Starship Eagle. Hall, meanwhile, stayed in Central States. Hall joined the American Wrestling Association to WA in 1985, where he wrestled as Magnum Scott Hall and, later, Big Scott Hall. He wrestled as a babyface wrestler. Vern Gagne, the owner and promoter of the WA, had wanted to push Hall to the same heights as he had Hulk Hogan. Following Hogan's departure for Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Federation WWF, Gagne had Hall use mannerisms and moves similar to Hogan. Ten Hall also traveled to Japan, where he wrestled several matches for New Japan Pro Wrestling in JPW between 1987 and 1990. Hope you enjoy this game and thank you for your attention, guys. believe this is actually happening. Wow, I think we have the best seat in the house. No, oh, he's a danger of being pinned. I know I saw it, but I still don't believe I saw it.